Tonight is our final night of our seven night virtual prophetic encounter. Before we go any further, I'm calling on Bishop Mark Bennett to lead us in a word of prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you once again, Lord, for another opportunity, Lord, to bring forth your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, look upon all the speakers, Lord, from this seven days, Lord. But Lord, bless the speaker on tonight, Bishop Mills, Lord. Word his mouth, Lord. Give him what's leading, guide him in the name of Jesus. Lord, let someone ask the question, what must I do to be saved? If we can just save one through this conference, glory to God. That's a miracle in itself. Lord, send your word on tonight, Lord, that prick the hearts of men and women everywhere. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, stretch forth your hand on tonight. We bind the spirit of interference. We bind the devil on tonight. We bind him inoperable. Yes. Well, he will not move on tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus that we are people of God and we yet have the victory. As we come tonight crying out before you, God, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord. We loosen your power. We loosen your anointing, Lord, through these airways. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God and amen. Amen. Amen, amen again. Tonight, we would like to welcome everyone that is joining us via Facebook, via YouTube, Twitter, Periscope, Instagram, wherever you are joining us from. We would like to welcome you right now. Um, we would like for you to share this broadcast. Share it in your groups. Share it on your timeline. Share, 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 share it in Messenger. You know, share it on someone else's timeline. But just share this broadcast on tonight. Amen. Amen. Before we um get it too far up in the service, I'm going to do a little announcement. Please bring your attention to the screen right now. This is our final night of our seven night virtual prophetic encounter a midnight cry. We have had a wonderful time. Hallelujah. On Sunday night, we had Pastor Deborah Carr out of New York. Monday, we had Evangelist Barbara Hunter out of South Carolina. On Tuesday, it was myself. On Wednesday, it was Dr. Albert Armstead out of North Carolina. On Thursday, we had Bishop Mark Bennett out of the state of Florida. On last night, we had Reverend Maurice D. Wilson Sr. right out of Plant City, Florida. And on tonight, on tonight, concluding the whole map of Midnight Cry, will be our very own Bishop Milton Mills. Amen, amen. Don't get too comfortable because we will be back, amen. I would like to remind you that God's Miracle Prayer Line do have Wednesday and Friday, 12 midnight Eastern Daylight Time prayer. The number to call is 848-220. 3300, the access code is 334 1266. Again, it is a clarion call for the intercessors to get on their watch. Amen. This is hosted by God's Miracle Prayer Line Wednesdays and Fridays at 12 midnight. We also have Bible study on Wednesdays at 8 p.m hosted by the Obi-Wan Global Movement. The number to call is 848-220-3300. The access code is 3341266. We're still doing our free Bible mission, Obi-Wan Global Ministries International Pakistan, still doing the free Bible mission to get everyone over in Pakistan a Bible. The national head of Pakistan is Reverend John. If you have any questions, 
any donations, whatever it is that you need, you can inbox JB John on Messenger, Facebook Messenger. Obi-Wan Global has a web app. Please, right now, take your phones out and text OBIONE227126. That's in order for you to receive the app and to stay connected with the movement. Text OBIONE227126 to receive the app and to stay connected with the movement. On noonday, noonday prayer, on Monday through Friday, Prayer is being held by For Greater Works and Team Ministries. The number is 848-220-3300. Right now, the access code is 3341266 pounds. That will change as of Monday, amen, from 12 noon to 1 for Greater Works and Team Ministries, amen. If you are looking for a church home down in the rural beach in the River County, Gifford, Florida area, New Generation Apostolic Holiness Church will welcome you with open arms. Their Sunday school starts at 10 a.m., morning worship at 11.30 a.m. The address is 1916 27th Avenue, Vero Beach, Florida, 32960, where Bishop Milton Mills is the senior pastor, along with his beautiful wife, Lady Carolyn Mills. Amen. Amen. Those are all of our announcements. Please govern yourselves accordingly. Right now, we're going to call up eternity to bring us some preaching and rhythm. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Give honor to Jesus, who is the head of, of our life. Give honor to Prophet Obi. I'm just truly grateful to be here on today, amen. Give honor to everyone, every man, uh, every woman of God under the sound of my voice. Just truly grateful to preach in rhythm to you, amen. Truly grateful for this uh, last night and the whole week of the prophetic encounter. Uh, and, and the theme is midnight cry, amen. I was bound by the enemy once upon a time and I cried, Satan, get thee behind me. For Jesus stands by me. Eternity version. Stand by me. I want somebody to be reminded on today that Jesus is with you, amen. And if he is with you, none can be against you. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, look, Jesus lives in me. I don't stand alone. Birds that lead nests like men that lead home. Still, I pray like dang it through what's going on. I lift my eyes up to heaven. I know you're on the throne. Won't be afraid. I can't feel when I draw not of you. It's when you also draw near. With you, I can't fail. Against your power, the gates of hell won't prevail. I'm a tree that is planted by your spirit to canal. And like Moses, I won't go if your presence don't go. The God who knows all, nothing that you don't know. Can't get enough of you. I will fail, but want more. Ain't run by the storms of life. Cause you is my punch. Oh, and I ain't walking by myself. The spirit walk for me. I don't be talking to myself. My God talk to me. Protect me from the room i cannot see i will overcome all if you stand by me though a war rise up and come against me i won't be defeated as long as you with me because no weapon born against me shall prosper you might ever present help in a day of trouble you resist the pride for give grace to the humble i will always worship you because i'm in that number i'm an overcomer with you in my life i will win long as you stand by my side as long as i am with you then you with me if i stand by you you stand by me as i glorify you you glorify me if i deny you you will deny me before i had loved you you had loved me the same way I treat you, you will treat me. Except unfaithful, that's something you can't be. You can't fail, can't lose, and you can't lie. And when I give my life to you, no, I can't die. That's just one of your benefits. You give grace and much sympathy. You protect me, my family. So away bones and my ligaments. I want a crown laid up for me. Because I kept the faith to finish course like Paul wrote to Timothy. We all sin and fall short of us. Boy, we need a God like Jesus through this world that we living in. Because what we can't do, what you we can. And when we loan it and you a friend, we thank you out, but that's when you end. We backslide, you become my man. And when we call you a helping hand, again, and then again, I don't understand why you give love to a sinner man and desire to live within and be like inner man. I told the devil that you're moving in and when the floods come, all I do is stand. Somebody declare to the Lord Jesus and confess and profess that as long as you is with me, Lord, I don't have to worry. I don't have to fear. Isaiah 59 and 19 says, when the enemy shall come up against you like a flood, that the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. So let's take a stand that we are the children of God and that we shall live and not die. 
let's take the stand that even if we get sick, let's declare that by his stripes we are healed. I take the stand that as long as I believe in Jesus Christ and as long as he is with me, no weapon the enemy formed against us will prosper because Jesus stands by us. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 I'm going to call on Bishop Mark Bennett to introduce our speaker of the hour. Amen. Amen. It's truly a blessing. Glory to God to just bring before you uh, a man of God who I've had the opportunity uh, to work with for years. And he has not changed. He has always been the same. And one of the things that I like about him is that he will tell you the truth, whether you like it or not, he will tell you the truth. Uh, we have been on some preaching platforms together, uh, but mainly um, we were doing praise and worship uh, for ministries. And uh, that was all we did. That was all they allowed us to do was praise and worship. Uh, but the Lord uh, intervened and the Lord elevated us. And I'm grateful uh, on tonight to uh, just introduce this, this fine young man of God, uh, married, you know, has children. He's a family man, but he loves the word of the Lord. He loves the word. He teaches the word. He preaches the word. And I know that the Lord is going to use him like never before on tonight not for his glory, but for the glory of the Lord. And another thing that he believes is not his will, but it's the will of the Father. I wanna to bring to your front, my friend, my compadre, uh, my amigos uh, on tonight, none other than Bishop Milton Mills. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I truly thank Bishop for that wonderful introduction. I thank God for Open One Global Movement. Amen. For carrying on the mission that God said that it is will that none should perish. We can't get to you in person, but Open One Global Movement is still on the Zoom app. Still, amen, having prophetic encounters that somebody that whatsoever they're doing and wherever they're at, that they can be saved. So we just truly thank God tonight, amen. Our theme is a Midnight Cry. And I'm so excited about it because we all have had midnight in our lives. In the way the men and women have been explaining it to us, just take your back to when I made my midnight cry. Amen. So tonight, I just want to share it with you tonight. And we appreciate all the other pastors, evangelists, and reverends, and bishops that came together to bring us a word of encouragement. Because right now, we are in perilous times. So we need to know what must be done that we can continually stay saved. Amen. Pastor Deborah explained to us about a anointed cry on Sunday night. And on Monday night, Evangelist Hunter explained to us about a prayerful, prayerful cry. Amen. And on Tuesday night, our own prophetess Obi came and explained to us about a prophetic cry. And after that, Dr. Armstrong came before us with a situation cry. And after that, our own Bishop Benny came before us with this content cry. And last night, Reverend Maurice helped us with a understanding cry. Amen. So tonight, I want to put it all together. 
that someone may understand whatever cry you have, you just need to go ahead and make your midnight cry. We're going to go to the word Acts 16 chapter 25th through the 27th verse. I'm going to just read it quickly. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loosed. And the keeper of the prison awakened out of his sleep, and seeing the prison door open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. But Paul cried out with a loud voice, saying, do yourself no harm, for we are all here. We're talking about a midnight cry. The Bible let us know in the 21st, 25th verse that at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sung him. Their midnight was the fact that they was in prison. We don't understand sometimes how people can still give God praise when things go bad. Sometimes we try to figure out how we going to make it or how we going to spread the joy of the Lord of our strength and everything around us is all about sorrow. But you have to remember that they prayed and sung him anyhow. So whatever your midnight is and whatever you're going through, you got to give God praise. You got to still give him thanks. Because it could have been worse. So Paul and Silas, they knew they was in prison, but they prayed and sung hymns anyhow. In your midnight hour, it could be sickness. In your midnight hour, it could be death in the family. In your midnight hour, it could be abuse. Uh, in your midnight hour, it could be to the point where you decided that you can't go on no longer. But when your midnight hour will come, we want you to, to remember that one of these pastors, preachers, teachers have encouraged you somehow that all you got to do is make a midnight cry. All you got to do is call on God. And he said he won't in no wise cast you are. And then it says while they were praying and singing hymns, suddenly, yeah, suddenly. See, one thing about God, he, he said he might not come when we want him, but he's the on time God. He might not do it the way you think he's going to do it. But one thing about our God, he said he's a God that cannot lie. He will do it. When you call on him, he will come. Whatsoever you ask, he said he will do it for you. All you got to do is pray and sing hymns in your midnight. It reminds me of suddenly, you remember when Lazarus had died. They was moaning and uh, the sister decided that if Jesus could have been there earlier, Lazarus might have not have died. You know how we get sometimes if this would have happened, if that would have went this way, or somebody would have prayed harder, or somebody would have did more, this couldn't have happened. But the Bible tells me when they were sitting there moaning and groaning and they made up their mind, but suddenly Jesus showed up. And he said, where's Lazarus? And they said, oh, wait now, hold it. He's he been dead for a few days now. He's going to stink. But God said, do you know who I am? 
See, when God suddenly show up, it don't matter what the circumstances is. It don't matter what it look like. It don't matter what people think it's going to be like. When God suddenly showed up, he said, roll the stone away. Then you remember when the lady with the image of blood, it was custom that she stay in the house and don't come out in that condition. But she prayed anyhow. And she heard about Jesus passing through. And she made up her mind and she thought about that scripture of faith for that works is dead. So she said, when he passed through, I'm going to press my way out. I ain't got to see him face to face. He ain't got to lay hands on me. If I could just touch the hymn of his God. And after she did and pushed her way through, and when she touched the hem of his linen, suddenly she was made whole. And then I like it with Esther. Esther said, if I perish, let me perish. But I'm going to make a midnight cry for my people. I'm going to see the king. People of God, we can't give up. People of God, I know it's rough, but we got to keep on marching. People of God, I know the enemy is trying to bring us down, but we got to keep our heads held up high. Because do you know who we serving? We serving a God that say, I am the resurrection and the life. Whatever is dead, I could bring it back alive. Just cry out. Whatever issue you are facing, just touch me. And whatever you need, just come and tell me. And I'll make it all right. And then when you go on down to the 27th verse, they say, the keeper supposing. So many people are supposing that it ain't going to do, it ain't going to get better. So many people supposing that they can't change. That they're going to be continue to be sick. They're going to continue to be bound. So many people supposing that the enemy going to kill their dream. When God say, I come that you may have life and have it more abundant. So many people supposing because they sinned and fell short that God don't love them no more. But he said, it's my will that none should perish. Because we all have sinned and come short. Some people supposing that the enemy has destroyed their relationship with God. But God said, if my people which are called by my name, will humble themselves, pray, repent. Are y'all listening to me tonight? We talking about a midnight cry. We are, listen to me good, we are our brothers and sisters keepers. We are those that are strong supposed to help bear the infirmities of the ones that are weak. We must continue to love one another the same way Christ loved us. And the Bible say when the keeper was supposed that all the prisoners had flee, Paul cried out, we are here. Tonight, Obi-Wan Global Movement is crying out to you. We are here. You don't have to do yourself no harm. We are here to help you learn how to lean and depend on Jesus. We are here to help you look to the hills 
from which cometh all your help. We are here to help you. Understand that with all things, with God, all things are possible. We are here to show you that God is a good God. We are here to help you find your way. All you got to do is come and taste and see how good he is. You heard the men and women this week explaining to you about a cry. A midnight cry can give hope to someone that is about to give up. A midnight cry can strengthen someone at the weakest moment of their life. A midnight cry can shine light in a dark place. A midnight cry can give deliverance to someone that is bound. A midnight cry can help someone that is in trouble. I want to explain to you about this chapter. In these few verses, it wasn't about Paul and Silas. It was about saving somebody with a midnight cry. Somebody was in trouble. Somebody needed to know who Jesus was. If you take time to read the rest of it, it said after Paul cried out, it gave the keeper hope. It gave the keeper understanding that with God, all things are possible. Sometimes we can't find ourselves in the place we should be. But if somebody would just cry out for us, sometimes we do get weary in our well-doing. That's the time that somebody needs to make a midnight cry. That we be able to hold strong and hold on to God's unchanging hand. Somebody is feeling that they are lonely. So that's when we need to make a midnight cry that God say, draw nigh to him and he'll draw nigh to you. Huh? He's talking about a midnight cry. Huh? We need to make a midnight cry for our children. Huh? We need to call God and let him know to protect them. Huh? When they go to school, huh? protect our children. Huh? When they get on the school bus, huh? Make a midnight cry huh, for when we're, when we're not there with them, huh, that what we have told them, huh, they won't depart from them. Huh. Let's make a midnight cry huh, that God will put a shield of protection huh, around them, huh, even though they are not able huh, to get the vaccine. Huh, but a midnight cry huh, will keep them safe. Huh, a midnight cry. Huh, Keep them secure. Uh, a midnight cry. Uh, or keep them from harm and danger. Uh, let's make a midnight cry uh, for our children. Uh, not only that, uh, let's make a midnight cry uh, for our community, uh, for our neighborhood, uh, for our loved ones, uh, for our brothers and sisters, uh, so we can let them know uh, that regardless what the situation is. Uh, God is a pleasant help in time of trouble. They have to make a midnight cry to let them know how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. We got to make a midnight cry in our neighborhoods so they can stay safe. We ain't got to worry about the enemy. If we make a cry together, we don't have to worry about what's going on with COVID. If we make a midnight cry to our God, and he said he sits high and he looks low. Hallelujah. We need to make a midnight cry for our husbands. We need to make a midnight cry for our wives. 
because the enemy is going to and fro, trying to see who he can defile. He's trying to stop our men from standing strong. He's trying to make our women be deceitful. But we going to cry out, yeah, Lord, it's God's will and whom he put together. Let no man separate. We have to have a midnight cry that we continue to join up in matrimony, that we continue to love one another. We gonna have differences, but if we cry, make a midnight cry for our marriage, God say he will come in and work it out. If we make a midnight cry for our husband, even though he might not be saved, God will. Yeah, Lord, they remind me of how Peter, yeah, Lord, was in prison. But the people of God made a midnight cry. And Peter got down the road. And Peter looked around and said, Surely, surely, God has rescued me. If we make a midnight cry for our family, God will keep us together if we make a midnight, midnight cry for our loved ones. Nothing to come between us if we make a midnight, midnight cry for our people that's surrounding us. All things will work together for our good. We got to make a midnight cry. For our schools, huh, that our children still, huh, still will be safe. Huh. We got to make a midnight cry. Huh. Yeah, Lord, huh, for the government, huh, so they can come, huh, come to themselves huh, and lead the country. Huh, and what's right huh, and what's true, huh, we make a midnight cry. Huh. We can cover huh, all our schools. Huh, a midnight cry, if we make a midnight cry in unity, the Bible say one can chase a hundred, but two of us, if we make a midnight cry, we can put a thousand, a thousand to flight. If we make a midnight cry, yeah, Lord, for our help, the devil have to stand by. But the Bible says, huh, by his scribe, huh, we are healed. Huh, so if you're sick, huh, sick tonight, huh, we are making a midnight cry huh, for your sickness. Huh, that we God, huh, all things huh, are possible. Huh, a midnight cry huh, will bring, huh, yeah, Lord, huh, love back huh, for each other. Huh, a midnight cry. Huh, would help us stand strong huh, in the midst of a storm. Huh, a midnight cry huh, can help us huh, put on huh, the whole armor huh, of God. Huh, a midnight cry huh, will keep us safe huh, from all harm, huh, harm and danger. Huh, a midnight cry huh, will make us rich huh, and not poor. Huh, a midnight cry huh, will make us the head huh, and not the tail. Huh. A midnight cry huh, will put a first huh, and not last. Huh. A midnight cry, huh, yeah, Lord, huh, will put us in good standards huh, with our God. Huh. A midnight cry huh, will let God huh, release his anointed huh, on anything huh, and everything. Huh. A midnight cry huh, to make our prayer huh, reach heaven. Huh, a midnight cry, huh, yeah, Lord, huh, will give us a prophetic huh, encounter huh, with our God. Huh, a midnight cry huh, will help us with any huh, situation huh, that we may go through. Huh, a midnight cry huh, will let God huh, see the content. Huh, of our tears, huh? a midnight cry huh? 
would help us understand uh, if God is for you, uh, who could be against you? Uh, that might uh, make your midnight cry uh, if you're lonely, uh, to make you cry. Uh, and God said, uh, He'll come in uh, and sup with you uh, if you need, uh, need to be saved. Uh, call on God. Uh, and he will come huh? if you're down. Huh? Make your midnight cry, huh? and he'll pick you up. Huh? Turn you around. Huh? Place your feet huh? on solid ground. Huh? If you need a blessing, huh? make your midnight cry. Huh? God, if you give huh? your midnight cry, huh? I'll give it back to you. Huh? Good measure. Huh? Press down. Huh? Shaking together. Huh? A midnight cry uh, will save our children. Uh, a midnight cry uh, will keep our marriages strong. Uh, a midnight cry uh, will keep our neighborhood safe. Uh, a midnight cry uh, will cover us from COVID. Uh, a midnight cry. Uh, a midnight cry uh, will help us. Hallelujah. Would help us. Rock heaven, a midnight cry. Tonight, church, people of God, make your midnight cry so God can come in suddenly and show you that he is, that he has all power. It wasn't about Paul and Silas. It was about saving the prison keeper, and showing the other prisoners the power of God. A midnight cry. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus! Glory. Hallelujah. Woo. We, you can pray virtue back into a bishop uh, Bishop Mark Bennett. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, bless this man of God and his family, Lord, as we pray virtue back in him in the Jesus. mighty name of Jesus. He had poured himself out tonight like a drink offering. In the name of Jesus, Lord, restore to him. Pour virtue back into him like never before in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. No backlash in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, touch his whole family tonight in the mighty name of Jesus as they continue to cry out in the name of Jesus. Bless this man of God in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 What, what, what a powerful, oh, powerful yes. word. Man, it was please. the Holy Ghost. We got wrapped it up. So you concluded the matter. Yes. And people need to know that when they cry out to the Lord, yes. he will rescue you. He will deliver you. He yes. will set you free. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Jesus. Hallelujah. He will heal you. Hallelujah. You yes. will get a breakthrough. Come on here, Holy yes. Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we thank God, amen. Hallelujah. This week for this seven night prophetic encounter. I tell you. Bishop Mills, that was a good wrap up. You yeah, listened yeah. to everyone's uh, message and you wrapped it up with um, Pastor Debbie starting out with talking about the anointing. Come on here, Holy Ghost. Yeah. Jesus. Then Evangelist Hunter. When what she she preached about, she was teaching. She taught on the, the, the difference in the in the midnight cry, and then the prophetic cry. Then you had the contents of the cry. Then you had uh, Dr. 
the oxygen that came in and with his midnight cry. Come on here. In your head, a uh, Reverend Maurice came yes. in with his midnight cry. Come on, Holy Ghost. Yes. What you crying for? Well, you know, yes. he was just wrapped up so wonderfully. Amen. And Amen. if there's anyone out there right now that wants to give your life to God, I know hallelujah, of two people right now that are on Facebook that really needs prayer right now. Yes. Hallelujah. So right now, if you will post your prayer request, but I'm going to pray for those two people because I know they are in need of prayer. Amen. Yeah. But if there, there's anyone else out there that needs, that needs prayer right now, I want you to post your prayer request down in the chat right now in the comment section put your comments your prayer request down in the comment section and we're going to touch and agree with you we're going to touch and agree with you right now amen so father god in the name of jesus Yes, I, bring, yes, I bring my friend, God. Yeah. I bring my childhood friend, God. Our, oh, our, 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 our uh, childhood friend and classmates, God, that, you know, we went to school together, God, and I pray and I come into agreement with her right now. In the yeah. name of Jesus, God, that, that you release your power in her home right now. Name that you will release yes. your supernatural power of the Holy Ghost, of the yes. fire and the zeal of God in her home now, God. That yes. you will release a healing in her home right now, God. Yes. That you will release restoration in her home right now. Yes. In the name of Jesus, In the name God. of Jesus. Satan, the Lord thy God rebukes you. I command you to lose your hold off yes. of her son right now in the, yes. name of in the name of Jesus. You cannot have his mind. You won't have his mind. In the name of Jesus. Because in the, the name blood of Jesus, Jesus is over his mind. Yes. It's over his spirit. It's over his thoughts. Yes. It's over his dreams. It's yes. over everything. Hey, but shout about Jesus. him in the name of Jesus. I command you to lose your hold right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. And I cast every one of your tricks, your assignments, your tactics, your plots, your plans back to the pits of hell from which they came in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now I've been formed against this young man going to rise. And any tongue that rise up against them, God condemns them into judgment in the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Glory yes. to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now God give the mother strength. Yeah. Give that mother strength to, to go on and fight this fight of faith. Come on here. Holy Ghost. Yeah. Give her strength tonight. Give her supernatural strength tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God. Yes. We yes. thank you right now. Because we know that it is done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Bishop Bennett, if you can pray for our young people. Yes, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your word on tonight. But Lord, touch our youth, Lord, right now, wherever they sit, wherever they stand, wherever they lay. Look upon the youth everywhere in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, that they have heard the word, Lord and that they will cry in their midnight. And Lord, you will hear the youth cry. And Lord, you will come down to see about them in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever our youth are on tonight, Lord, 
Lord, touch their mind on tonight. Touch their heart. Touch their soul that they will do the right thing. They will ask, what must I do to be saved? In the mighty name of Jesus, we bind the devil who's trying to control our youth on tonight. And we loosen the power of God over our youth tonight. And we plead and we apply the blood of Jesus over our youth tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, that they will ask the question, what must I do to be saved? In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I would like to say something, Pastor, if I could. Okay, go ahead. We just truly thank God for this week. Amen. Yes. A midnight cry. It is yes. it's, it's very touching. Amen. And yes. And I know there's a lot of people out there needed to know that it's okay to make your midnight cry, regardless yes. what the situation is. When Lazarus died, her his sister made her midnight cry. She said, go tell Jesus. Yeah. Amen. And suddenly Jesus came. Yeah. The lady with the issue of blood made her midnight cry. She yes. said, if I could just get out there and touch the hem of his gun. Yeah. And suddenly she was healed. Amen. Esther made her midnight cry for her family. Yeah. She said, if I perish, I perish, I'm going to see the king. Yes. And the king said, come on, what do? What can I do for you? That's right. People of God, tonight, it's time to make your midnight cry. Yeah. It's time to cry out for your family, your loved ones you done lost. It's time to cry out for your healing of someone you know that need to be healed. It's time to cry out for someone's family. This is what it's all about. What's for me ain't just for me. It's for me to help somebody. Yeah. Amen. And yeah. Global, Obi One Global Ministry is trying to help somebody. Amen. Mm -mm -mm. And we're trying to help you tonight. Make your midnight cry. Yeah. She had the prayer box open right now. Please make your cry. Tell us what you need so we can cry with you. God was God said, with two or three touching in the free. That's what the verse says. He will be in the midst. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes. So tonight, let's make a midnight cry. And sometimes we have to make it different than other people. But we have to show God that we appreciate it. We got to show God that we love what he's doing for us and through us. And we want to show love to Obi-Wan Global Movement yes. for helping us stay together, for making a midnight cry for us. Yes. Because everything she come up is with somebody, with it's something that somebody needs. Amen. And Jesus. we all needed this. Yes. Hmm. I'm touched. By Jeez. Bishop Bennett saying, God knows the content he cut out of, yeah. of my tears. Yes. I was touched when Minister Brother Maurice said, what are you crying for? We got to tell God. He said, come to the throne of grace, both. Yes. Yes. We got to let him know what we're crying for. Yes. And the Bible said, when Paul and Silas cried out to help yes. the keeper, he said, what must I do? Yes. Hmm. To be saved. Thank you. Yes. He was complaining. He was finna commit suicide oh, my, because my, my. things didn't go the way he thought they should have. He was finna end his life. But Paul cried out for him. Yes. That's what we've been doing all week. Yes. Crying out mm. for yes. the needs of God's people. So tonight we're going to at you, we gonna cry with our yes. midnight cry. My Lord, that we would get some people to help support yes. Obi Wan Global Global Movement. I'm gonna start out with a blessing of a hundred dollars that I'm gonna send to her. And earlier in the program, she showed you the ways that you could help us continue these prophetic encounters that we can stay yes. on and help somebody that's in need that we can continue to spread the gospel even though we can't 
get in the place with each other, but God said he would not put on us no more than we can bear. And Amen. if it is, he gave us a way of escape. Yes. All the one global movement. So tonight, make your midnight cry. And let's be a blessing to Obi One Global Movement. We ain't got but a few minutes because I don't want to waste all the time trying to collect money <laughs> because someone need someone is in need. Yeah. Even if you take down her address and you want to drop her a letter of what your midnight cry is so we can pray with you and you want to give an offering through the mail, please mail it to Obi-Wan Global, Global Ministries P.O. Box 234 Mango, Florida 33550 and let us continue the mission helping somebody with a midnight cry. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Prophetess, God bless you. It's Bishop yeah. Bennett. Uh, I just want to say, uh, just for uh, for those who are out there and those who are listening, uh, you know, while you're getting your offering together, I just want to say that, you know, uh, I have tears in my eyes right now because this whole week, Dealing with the midnight cry, I'm I have really been touched and I have really been moved. And I know a lot of people have been moved by this midnight cry. I'll never look at crying the same way again after this week. So I'm letting you know that I have truly been blessed and my heart has been touched. Jesus. And I want to encourage everybody out there to cry unto the Lord. But I want to encourage everybody out there to let go and let the Lord in in Jesus' name. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Okay, we got one um 125, okay? Amen, amen. As soon as I, I got a new phone, so as soon as I figure out how to do it, I'll be sending it over. Amen. We just truly thank God for the people for that blessing. Amen. And we're gonna continue to pray with you. Like I say, even if you can't do it on app or uh cash app, drop a letter and let us know what your midnight cry is so we can pray with you. And that we can connect you with someone in your area that can keep in touch with you to help you. Amen. Continue to stay in trusting in God. Amen. 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 Um, Amen. We would like to thank everyone. Amen. That has been on Facebook with us. Those that joined us on Zoom this week. Amen. We thank God for eternity. I thank God for my husband. Amen. I thank God that God is really, really doing some miraculous and marvelous things in his life. Amen. 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 Um, I give him all the glory. Amen. Um, I would like to uh, remind the church. Amen. The remind the church before we leave on tonight that if you are having service, you need to take heed to what I'm about to say. You need to go to the CDC website and you need to print off everything that is concerning masks, that is concerning social distancing, and that is concerning hand, san hand sanitizer, washing your hands and, and so forth. You okay. need to take these posters, and put them on the outside of the front door, on the inside of the front door. If you have a desk, you need to put it on your desk. If you have offices, put it in your offices. If you have restrooms, the men's bathroom, the men's restroom, um, the, the men's restroom, the ladies' bathroom, you need to put it in the kitchen, the conference area, the uh, inside of the front of the back door, Outside the back door, the inside the sanctuary, 
you need to put these signs in your uh, church right now and place them everywhere in there because lawsuits are going to start uh, flying with this coronavirus that's going on. The Lord spoke to me and said that's the attack of the enemy coming towards the church. But he also gave us a way of escape and a, a, a counterattack against the attack that the enemy is trying to come up with. So I'm telling you right now that you better take heed because there I, I'm already reading some stories right now in the news. So we had better start taking heed. Just because I don't have a big name and don't say God ain't speaking. I've been had a relationship with God since I was seven years old. I got an intimate relationship with God and I know that I hear his voice loud Amen. and clear. And he's warning the church right now. It's a warning for the church. Amen. If that is an attack on the church, but he also gave you the counter attack that to, uh, against the attack that's trying to come against the church right now. So you better take heed to it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we thank everyone for joining us this week. God bless you all. Um, Chief, you got off before I can even call you. Do you well, have anything? Do you have anything that you want to say before we leave? Uh, I'm gonna, uh, no, to Dr. No. Armston, huh? I'm here. I didn't go. I didn't go nowhere. I'm here. I just wanted to thank everybody that was here this week. It was a great week. Yes. From the beginning with Pastor Debbie to the end. Yes. Meal. Amen. And in between. Yes. Thank everybody for making this happen. You are all you all are just like family. You are family to us and we are family to you, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and, uh, yes, and um, thank you, thank you, thank you, and uh, we'll do it again soon. Oh, so, yeah. And uh, stay blessed. Get your shots if you haven't got it. <laughs> Please wear your shots. When, yeah. if this is going crazy. Just wear your mask and leave the rest to God. Yes. So, you all have a nice and beautiful week. And uh, Long holiday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Dr. Armstead. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Lord God, for your many blessings. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for your kindness. Lord, you've been good to us. Lord, you have brought us from a long way. We're grateful yes. tonight. Lord, we thank you for each speaker. God, it went forward. Do your will to speak your word. Yes. Oh, we are grateful. And Lord, we are thankful for all things. For Lord, the scripture said, you have done all things well. And Lord, now continue to bless us. Oh, God, move right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, Jesus Amen. Us and we shall be blessed. Strength of every child is strong. Yeah. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.